Okay, so today uh, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be drilling holes in round stock. Now I'm not going to be drilling holes through the end of round stock, I'm going to be drilling holes through the side of round stock. And if you've ever tried to drill holes through the side of round stock, you know that that's a tricky affair. Uh, but to add to the degree of difficulty, the size of the stock will depend on how difficult that task is. So, just to give you an idea of the size that we're dealing with, that's the size that we're dealing with. That's my uh, index figure. So these are extremely small pieces, okay? So the end result is gonna be a piece that has a hole on the, in the side of it, going through the, sh the shake like this piece, and also having a hole in the end of it, which I haven't drilled yet, but I'm just using this piece as a setup piece. So uh, that's going to be the trick. Now to do this, um, you know, you can't just drill through the shake that way, right? Because that drill bit's going to slide right off of there. There's no way to actually, um, you know, put center punch it to get it to be, to get it to have a mark so you can drill it. So you have to have, you actually have to make a jig to do that. And I've created a jig to do that. What I did was I took a piece of block and I machined the ends of it. And I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna put that piece inside of this block. There's the block that I'm gonna put the uh, put the piece inside of. Okay? It's gonna go at that end right there. Now the reason I have this this slot here uh, is not for this video, it's for another video. It's it's how I actually cut the end of the cut the end of the piece because it's actually a screw piece. So this video is just about you know drilling into the sh side of the shake. So uh, what I do this is this is my pin here, so I can I can put it in there and register where it's got to be. I slide this little piece into this block. And then I'm ready to go. So uh, I'll uh, I'll come back to this video once I have it all set up and ready to go. So uh, just let me take a time out here. Okay. So part of the process is getting the uh, getting the piece of the jig. Now this jig here has a has an Allen head uh, screw in there. Okay, to tighten down the piece once it's in there. But what I do, I, you know, it's it's drilled through. So I just take this little guy, I slip it in there until it's flush. Flush with the front of this piece and then I, I tighten down the screw with an Allen head. And now it's in place, so it's firmly in place. Now on these pieces here, I actually cut a slot and I drill a hole through the shake. The hole part is one video and the slotting part is another video. So if you want to see how I do the holes or the slotting part, depending on which video you're watching, uh, you'll need to uh, you know, see the other video. But that's how I do it. So now it's firmly in place. Now the reason I have the hole is because uh, I, I, these are, these are uh, jets here so they have to have a hole that's cross drilled in them. So once I drill the hole, I register the hole with this little piece here. So I just stick it through the hole to register it so it's solid in there and it can't move around, can't move, you know, can't twist or anything. And then I, I cut the slot. That's, that's the best way to cut the slot because the slot really has to be in there firm. And this is a good way to hold it, but, you know, if you got the second piece in there holding it, for sure, that's that's just not going to move when you slot it. So, uh, so that's where I'm at right now. I've just tightened it down. Now I'm going to put it in the into uh, the piece. Oh, but I should mention that on this piece here, I slotted this on a on a mill. Uh, now this is this is steel here, but it's not hard to steel. So I used carbide steel to cut this slot with. You know, so just to mention that. 
And that's for the other video if you're watching the one where I drill the hole on the side here. And then this hole drill on the side here uh, is actually centered onto the round piece. So the next step is to put this in my little milling machine and then uh, just do whichever operation I'm going to do. In this case, I always drill the hole first so that it's registered. And then if I'm going to cut a slot, I'll you know cut the slot there. Now, the reason I have it set up this way is because on the pieces that I'm doing, the hole is actually registered with the slot, so the hole goes in the same direction that the slot does. And again, it's uh, latitudinally the hole is, is drilled through that piece. Just to give you an idea of how big the hole that I drill in these pieces is, the, the piece that I use, the drill that I use, is indexed at, uh, it's a number 51, which is 0 0.067. The width of the shank at this point right here, right there, is uh, 0 0.131. So, uh, you know, it's, it's about a 60 thousandths, 64 thousandths difference. So this drill is actually half as wide as the shank here. That's a pretty extreme hole, especially if you're talking about, you know, bigger pieces. It's a very extreme hole, so that's why, uh, you know, I got to get that that hole on center. And as, I, as you can see, you know, the hole is on center there. It's right there, okay? So, uh, so again, you know, number 65 drill bit going through there. That's, that's what actually goes through that that little piece there. So I've taken, you know, one of these pieces, I've now, to review, I've, I've put it in here. It's flush with the face of this. It's held in by a, by a screw, a set screw, okay? And now I'm ready to drill it uh, latitudinally, just like that. It's gonna go right through there. So I'm gonna chuck this up in my little, in my little drill chuck and I'm going to go ahead and drill it on a mill, so that'll be the next step. Okay, so now I'm set. Got the drill in the chuck here. You know, I'm going to use my uh, milling machine to do this with. Got the drill in the chuck. It's all lined up. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this puppy on. Kind of hard to do this all with one hand. Let's just uh, turn it on. Okay, I, I use a very slow low speed to do this with because it's just brass. And now I just kind of go right through the hole. So you can see why I have a guide to do this because there's just no way I'd be able to drill through that without some type of guide involved. It's at the brass piece right now. And I've designed it so that it, it goes into a little pocket once it, once the drill once it's drilled through so that I know it's uh, it's done. I don't want it to hit the I don't want it to not all of a sudden fall a distance once I've drilled through it. And that's kind of an indicator to me that it's drilled all the way through. And again, you know, brass is extremely soft, so I don't have to really use high speed. I don't really have to use uh, lubrication. You know, it goes, it goes through there fairly easily. You've seen the piece when it's, where the shake is cross-drilled, so I don't need to show you that again. This will be the final step for me on this piece, for this step. And it's just kind of taking its time here. You can see the chips coming out there. And it's drilled. It's actually falling through. So I've got a, so now what I've got is I've got a little shake that's drilled all the way through. And that's how you drill those little pieces. So just to show you again, the piece in its final, oh, I'll turn this off. The piece in its final, 
as it ends up, it will end up being a piece that will have a hole drilled, you know, crosswise like that. I haven't, I haven't cut the threads. I haven't cut the slot on the end of it. You know, it's just got the, it's just got that little hole drilled in it. So thanks for watching the video. Okay, so as an epilogue to that video, I uh, just wanted to show you here. So, again, I've drilled the, the hole across the shank. This is the registry pin. It actually goes through, as you can see. So that's, uh, that's going to, uh, I keep the registry pin in when I cut the shaft, when I slot it, because I don't want it to move. I mean, I know it's secured here, but uh, anyway, that's what it is. It's actually secured in there. The, the hole goes all the way through it, and we're good to go. So thanks for watching the video.